Hello, today we're going to be learning about contemporary food issues that affect our food choice by looking at organic and free range foods. And by the end of today, we should be able to explain how organic free range food produce can impact a consumer's food choice. So this is the soil association symbol that you might see on your food labels and that lets you know that whatever the product is that you're buying, it is organic. And what does that mean? This means that the product is organically grown and no artificial chemicals or fertilisers have been used. So animal and vegetable waste materials might be used uh, as fertilisers as instead. Another fact is that pesticides are restricted, so organic farmers develop, develop nutrient-rich soil to grow healthy crops and encourage wildlife to help control the pest and disease rather than using pesticides to kill any unwanted pests, um, which would then be in the soil that we'd grown our crops in, and some people feel funny about that. Um, another one. Animal welfare is important and farm animals have got a free range life. That means that they have got open spaces to roam about and they're not crammed in eh, like factory farming would be. So what are some advantages of buying organic food? So many consumers prefer them as they are free from chemicals and that means that they know that they will have fewer side effects. Uh, maybe if you had a child that was at risk of allergies, if you yourself were at risk of allergies, you'd be maybe more inclined to be buying organic food produce. People also do believe that they're better for health because um, they, they don't have chemicals in them, so they're more natural. So some consumers who are aware or health conscious would be more inclined to choose organic produce because they believe it's got health benefits and lowers the risk of them having allergic reactions. If I was an environmentally cautious consumer, I might want to choose organic produce because I know that it is more beneficial to the environment as uh, no pesticides or chemicals have been used that automatically would go into the earth and uh, affect the ozone layer and as well as so the animal welfare is improved so that the, the foods I am eating I know that they have had a happy life. Some disadvantages include the following Organic foods are more expensive than normal versions, so may not be accessible to low-income groups. And that is because they are grown naturally. They've not been forced grown in any way, so there is probably less of them. And if there's less of them, then the farmers aren't going to be making as much money. So they tend to charge more to make sure that they are still getting a fair wage. So organic foods are more expensive than normal versions because there is less of them. And so that might not be uh, suitable if I was in a low budget. I might not be able to afford them. The appearance may be less attractive, especially vegetables, so they may put some consumers off buying them. Now, I always think about like this. We all grow naturally. We are all completely different from our heights, our weights, our eye colours, our hair. Everything is different. We've all grown naturally. And that is the same as um, when you buy a wee punnet of strawberries. Um, uh, if one is organic, you will see that they're all different shapes and sizes. Some might be more paler than others. But if you buy ones that have had chemicals used on them to help force them to grow, you might find that they are all the same size and all deep red and all look really nice. And that can encourage consumers to choose them because they um, prefer the look of them. But in some cases, it could put us off if we are uh, worried about the chemicals being used on the food product. One disadvantage or another disadvantage rather is that fruit and vegetables may not keep as long, resulting in more food waste. So this is a picture here of a factory farming and the, the reason this is done is because they can produce a large quantity of the product for as cheaply as possible. Uh, many animals are possibly crammed together in a small space where feeding, water, and cleaning and waste is all done automatically, not by the actual farmer themselves. Now this is... Um, beneficial in some ways as we get cheap produce and that uh, as a consumer I know that it's definitely um, 
I thought I was shopping and there was maybe a difference of a pound or a couple of pounds between organic fruits and not organic fruits, I know that I would probably just choose um, whatever's cheapest and, um, and, and that's fine. But when it comes to factory farming, maybe if you are more aware of the animals, then maybe that is going to maybe put you off more. So it's not necessarily the price it draws you in, but more thinking about the welfare of the animals. Whereas free range animals are happy, we call them, you get like happy eggs eh, and things like that, where the animals have been free to roam about and not crammed into cages. So they've got grass, they've got sky, and I just think that that guy looks a little bit happier. Why would consumers choose factory farmed produce? So like I said, they are cheaper to buy, so that's going to be much more beneficial to all of us or those on a low budget. And consumers may be unaware of the conditions that animals are reared in, so they would buy the produce. So nobody advertises these uh, pictures here, so uh, we could be unaware of uh, the, the animal welfare and so would buy them. Some reasons why we might avoid factory farming though is that consumers might not buy the produce as they're concerned about the conditions animals are reared in animal diseases could be passed on to humans and the use of pesticides antibiotics growth hormones can find their way into the human food chain as well all of which uh, people are concerned about so um they're put off by the animal welfare and uh, all these things rather than just looking for it, the cheap price. And that is how our choosing between organic and free range produce could have an impact on our food choice. So we now know all these facts, we know the disadvantages and advantages and how that could encourage consumers to choose or not choose um, both of these products. And that's it.